so you want to camby your wheels using the best 3D software available. Lucky for you, it's surprisingly easy. Mm. So what is a cambered wheel? Basically, there's two reasons you need camber. The first is performance. Most sporty cars come with a degree of camber in the rear to help cornering. The second reason you might need camber is if your wheels are so wide and dishy that those puppies won't fit under the arches. Today, we're going to be exploring the latter. Stance boys, baby! Alright. So let's camber some wheels then. So, if we turn on here, we can see that uh, my car is already rigged. Uh, this is quite important, you need to make sure your car is already rigged first. And then the next thing we need to do is make sure that our brake is joined to our wheel. And we're going to do that by pressing Ctrl and J. Uh, after your computer tries to brake and kill itself, it will finally join together. So if we press go into edit mode now, we can see our brake disc and our wheel are both together. This is important for when we rotate it. The next thing we need to do is click on our the next thing we need to do is click on our rig and go into pose mode. You do that by pressing control and tab. Or you can press it up here. Once we're in pose mode, we can select the floor sensor. That's the red one on the floor here. And if we select the bone properties over here, we can come around where it says rotation. And what we need to do is rotate one of the axes. Now, if we press minus one on the Y, we can see we've got some camber now, aren't we? Now, it's up to you. Up, oh, it's like it's up to you on how much camber you want. But I think I stuck with just 0.1. It, it, it was perfect. You know what I mean? That's a lot of camber. <laughs> That'll do me. So once you've done that, we need to now think about this gap here, don't we? Can you see? We've got a big old gap. And um, with stance boys, this is basically death. <laughs> this is unacceptable. So what we need to do now is make this wheel a little bit wider on this. This was a controversial step for me because you're affecting the wheel model when you do this, but at the same time, I was thinking, in the stance game, the more dish, the better. So what we're going to do is scale the X. If we press it up to, I think it was 1.4, even 1.5, depends on what fitment you're after. I think 1.5 is good, isn't it? Well, that has basically pushed the wheel out and made even more dish. There's nothing wrong with more dish. There really isn't. The only trouble is, now, is our wheels are super wide, aren't they? So, what we need to do now is go into the model and reduce the size of that wheel, yeah? So, we can press Control tab back out of pose mode and click on the wheel now and go into edit mode. Now we're in edit mode, we can press that button there, I don't know what the name of it is, I think I'm going to put it on the screen for you because it's a dead useful tool. It will separate it into its own, like, it'll get rid of everything so your computer can have a break. And what we need to do is select all of the wheel ones over here, don't we? I think my computer's having a mare because I'm screen capturing at the same time. While we're here, it might be worth going into material mode instead of rendered view, just to give my computer a break. Now what we need to do here is make sure that this button is on the normals because now we've tilted the wheels, we want to make sure when we move these, they move in the right direction, don't we? So if we press G and then we press, I think it's Z, we can then shrink the wheel down, yeah? So realistically, your wheel's probably about that fat, isn't it? Now, you're going to get upset areas like out there, look, where you got to keep your eyes on it. So if we just... Select them as well and press G and Z. We can move our wheel in and make a sensible size wheel. And then if we press that button, we can bring everything back. If we back out now, we can see we have a cambered wheel. It really was that simple. The only problem you'll have left now is this brake caliper here, as it's obviously not matching this area. So what we need to do with this is go into the objects and select the rotation and just Tweak it round, you know what I mean? Can you see it there? And then if you you can hide something so you can see it better and stuff, but this is just a quick explanation. Which one is it? Not that one, not that one. It's that one, so if I just correct it, there we go, look. Our wheel is now sorted. 
So if we can now select our car rig and then select the base bone and move it, we can see it's not spinning the wheels. So if we go into rig a car and select wheels on the Y and then press G and Z, look, we can see that our wheels are now rotating and it really is that simple. So if you repeat this process across all four wheels, eventually you'll have a stanced car like this. Now with the brakes, we need to talk about the brakes because the brakes can be tricky old things. So if we select the brake and we show what we're selecting, I'll show you how I've come up, like tackled it kind of thing. Basically what you have to do in there here, at an object constraint, you need to put a limit rotation and we need to limit the X axis so that when we turn the wheels, it don't basically spin around, but it, it will let it do left and right, yeah? If I quickly show you that, look. So when we turn the wheel, the camera will turn with it, but if we move forward and backwards, it don't spin around, yeah? And in order to do that, you basically need to parent it to the wheel, and then you need to add an limit rotation. This is how you solve it, basically, yeah? And then after that, you've pretty much got a stance car that is rigger card. It's really simple. I hope you enjoyed it. I hope you liked my video. Um, thank you for watching, people. If you like this video, press like. Subscribe if you want to see more car things, because basically my goal here is to make car stuff in Blender while teaching you a little bit about cars at the same time, because I'm really good with cars. I hope you enjoy. Thank you for watching. Bye-bye.